So this morning I visited Tremorfa Nursery School in the Walrus Plot and I'm here with Anna-Marie Bevan, the head teacher. So we've been talking about learning, we've been talking about progress and also their use of the outside space. So Anna-Maria, tell us again about how the new Builders Yard was created. So the Builders Yard was created as a whole community project. Um, we had a very small space that the children used to use for building and measuring and using tools and sand. And we felt that our children needed and deserved a much bigger space to play, but it was a huge project to take on. So we came up with the idea of having a day called the Big Dig. Mm. Um, we invited the parents and members of the community to come and help us. We thought it would only take a couple of days and we enticed them with homemade cakes. <laughs> um, and it ended up being a huge project over a week, Monday to Friday. Every day we had members of the community come in. We had ex-parents that had moved on to um, primary schools in Splot and we had um, grandparents, mm. local neighbours in the community. And they all came and helped to dig the huge space that you can see now that's full of sand and it was a great a great community effort. So a fantastic story of the community coming together to build a space and has it done what you wanted it to with children's learning? Yes definitely um, I think you saw lots and lots of children playing in there earlier um, and the collaboration between the children that we're seeing is fantastic they know they need to work together to lift up heavy buckets of sand and to use the pulley systems mm. Um, and some of our children are actually looking at real builders' plans and making their own plans. And it's helped them to develop their language skills and their social skills. And that's been a really big feature, outdoor play as part of learning, but that point about developing their skills and working with parents to do that as well in their family. So tell me how you think you're running with that, because this school starts, starts very early on, doesn't it? Yes, so officially they start with us at three after they mm. turned the term after their third birthday. However, we do so much work with families um, that lots of these children have been known to us since birth mm. or even pregnancy. Um, because we've got full-time community nursery nurses employed by the school, um, we have groups every single day of the week for the community. So one of our groups is a baby group for babies under one. And the reason we started that group is because we, could, we were really seeing the low levels of language development as children came mm. in and wanted to do something about that before they actually start mm. with us. Um, so the baby, the, the mums and dads and babies come to that baby group and we t give them the messages around early language development, um, face, the importance of face-to-face -face mm. time, and it's been wonderful to see those children come all the way through and leave us at four, and we're starting to see now that the outcomes are, are better for those children where families are engaging with us early on. Well, that's great news. A school that is working with parents, the whole family, and doing the very best for children, and making every best use of its building, but also outside space too. So a real pleasure to be here today, and I look forward to coming out to see more of the work in the school. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.